we need happiness. We need, we need to feel proud. We need to feel a, accomplishment. We need to do this to follow who we are. And everybody needs to learn to do that for themselves. You'll hear a lot of times, I don't care, or there's nothing here. Well, there's nothing because that's all you want to see. You don't want to look. We have forgotten, or we haven't been practicing celebrating what we have. And this is some of, like our culture, we celebrate everything around us. Because where, where I'm even sitting right now, I am totally surrounded by all our other relatives of this land. So we got to go and learn how to pray. Just going to the asking rock touched me. Touched me deep. I still feel it. We have a culture. Not everybody wants to learn, but there are some in each family that do. And if we feed them and cherish them, they'll carry on. Elders do appreciate it when they know people have been really listening because they can't stop. It's like running water pouring out of a jug until it's empty. Because what we got and what we learned, it's not meant for us to keep it to ourselves. It's no good. It's like keeping seeds and not planting them. I'm a hawk, my spirit is hawk, little hawk. My wife is sacred pine. So we're compatible. And we've been together for a long time. I've been we've been together longer than we've been we started together and it's been a forty year journey. We started when we were twenty two 25, and this journey is, yeah, hard, difficult, but I want it to be good, and anything good, you have to work for it. You have to love yourself before you can love anybody else, and allow anybody to love you. Love you. Especially if you've been abused, it's a really difficult thing, that one. It's really hard. But most things can be overcome. If they can't be overcome all at once, they'll be overcome with time. We're heading in the right direction. I know we're heading in the right direction because we're doing this. And that makes me feel good.